Avid Lesson 4.6, Organizational Tool. Students will develop an organizational system that begins with a backpack and evolves to combinations of the following. Spiral notebooks, folders, dividers, and a three-ring notebook. One of the most important elements for, an, for academic success is an orderly logical organizational tool. Consequently, a large amount of time should be devoted to getting the students' organizational tools ready at the beginning of each quarter or semester and maintaining them throughout the school year. Every week, students should spend time maintaining their organizational tools. In order for organizational tools to be successful, they need to work for the student. Individualization is the key to success. Material setup, teacher resource, 4.6 organizational tool implementation plan. Student handouts, 4.6 organizational tool assessment, 4.6 organizational tool reflection, 4.6 D binder contest checkoff sheet, and 4.6 E binder response form. Instructional steps. Determine the organizational tool that students will begin the school year with. Remembering that as the year progresses, each student may need to individualize their organizational tool to meet their specific needs. The organizational tool contains most, if not all, of the materials needed for academic subjects. Once the organizational tools should be one organizational tool should be used to contain as many subjects as practical. This enables students to have the materials at hand that are necessary to study for a quiz or a test and or finish homework assignments whenever they have free time. Consider having a sample binder or a photo of an organized binder posted in the room or hallways as an exemplar of what is expected as I have modeled here for you today. The Avid Binder. First, you see I have a cover sheet for Factory Shows Elementary School. The cover sheet is located in the Google Classroom. Here you see students can put down their homework. Here students can put their homework inside of the folder of the binder on the left side. Next you will see that there's an AVID organizational tool assessment rubric. Here please use this rubric to explain to students what is expected for the binder. Here you can see it contains all of the contents and you will check the student's binder and tell if it's there or not there. Next is the pencil pouch. Avid Lesson 4.5 Review Gathering Supplies. If you have not already, please go back and teach Avid Lesson 4.5 Gathering Supplies. Please ensure that students understand what is expected to be in the pencil pouches, whether it's pencils, pens, highlighters, etc. The next page, I added another cover sheet. However, this is the place for you to put your classroom cover sheet. Next is the agenda. We went over Avid Lesson 4.1 agendas. Please go back and review Avid Lesson 4.1 agendas and ensure that students understand agenda expectations in the classroom. The next section is a section for student information sheet, how to log into different websites and it gives you information on helpful programs and educational websites that we use at school. Please feel free to create a template that works for you that contains these pieces of information. Next, I have added sheet protectors. The first sheet protector, students can add money and important notes from home. The next sheet protector, students can put a copy of the class schedule. I put an extra sheet protector in here just so that you can know you can add extra sheet protectors as needed for information that you would like students to keep into their binders. The next section is for CASEL resources and strategies as well as AVID academic language expectations and norms. Students need to understand what expectations and norms that are required for AVID. In addition, CASEL lessons and strategies will go in this section. Please feel free to design a template that meets your needs as well. The first piece of information I put in this section is slant, 
We review slant. Please ensure that students understand the expectation of slant. I've added a poster here. I've added academic language scripts. We have not gone over this yet, but this is the type of information that students will keep in this section. We've done the lesson on successful student templates. Some of you did it as a class. Some students did it individual. Please print it out and have students to put it in this section of the binder. Next is a template for growth mindset. And Avid, we're teaching students to have a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. Please add growth mindset in this section as well. The next piece of information I have, we did a lesson on passions and, passions and strengths. Here, I created a word of my passions and my strengths, and I added it into the binder. The next section is for student information sheet. Is for student information. They can they have a pocket where students can add the resources here, and you can put that information behind here as well. The next section is for goals and data. Here, students will keep their goal sheets. They will keep their data as well as um, graded work data. So here I have added a Lexile sheet that we've used in the past. You haven't gotten it yet, but this is the type, these are the types of things that would go here, types of data and goal sheets that would go here. I've added a data example data sheet here as well. The next session is for math. Remember all notes, resources, activities for math. We're going to math section. I have added a one subject spiral notebook for the problem of the day. We will continue to do problem of the day and they will put those here. Please ensure your students have a spiral notebook to go in the math section for their problem of the day. I have also added paper for their notes. The next section will be ELA. Once again, I have added paper to show you that this will be the note-taking section. They also have pockets for each divider for resources as well. Under ELA, I have added a subsection. I have added a subsection for accelerator reader. This is a great idea. Some teachers want a subsection for accelerator reader. We can put back here their reports. You can put their uh, reading logs, everything for accelerator reader behind here. So I just added a sheet to divide the ELA section. The next section is writing. I've added paper as well. As you notice in writing, I've added subsections in writing. I added a subsection for informational writing. Then I've added paper. I added a subsection for opinion writing. as well as a subsection for narrative writing. The next section is social studies. Here are all of your social studies notes, activities, etc. We're going to social studies section. Your next section is science, same here. All of your notes, activities, we're going to your science section. And the last section we have here, as you can see, is for individualized learning. Here, students can add differentiated assignments or differentiated rubrics, uh, maybe fry phrases, anything that supports the students' individualized learning will go in this section. And lastly, in the back of the binder, students can add their finished work or work to turn in. And this is a model of the Avid Binder. Please let me know if you have any questions.